We met uh, Bruce and Bonnie and we visited their farm here in Delta to learn about the cranberry harvest. When the family arrived this morning, we uh, brought them out and showed them a field that had not been harvested, so they understood the beating and the beating patterns. The plant is trained to grow in a specific way. Otherwise, when the, they use machines to push all the cranberries off, they'll break and they'll tear. Then we took them to a bog that was being beat and showed them how the beaters work and knock the berries off. And then we proceeded to another bog where the booming occurs, where we would start lifting the fruit. Going into the bog was very interesting. It, I was quite surprised how deep it was. It was very, very spongy underneath. It's very easy to, to fall and to lose your balance in there. But it's also very surreal to be with something that was like floating around while you still were walking. I was thinking who's going to fall over first. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was fun watching them walk out there. I also thought that the water was going to be freezing cold and I would be shivering, but it was actually pretty warm. Kind of felt like a little hot tub. <laughs> the water comes from the Fraser River and it goes through a pumping station. We rely heavily on the, the Fraser River for our spring water, for frost protection, our summer water for irrigation, and particularly for our fall water for harvest, where we use great quantities of water. We got to inspect it all and see like the big cage that opens electronically and they pump it to all the different farms. Salt water is heavier than fresh water. Delta, of course, touches on the ocean, so we're easily impacted by tides. If global warming causes the sea levels to go up, we will have more problems with salt. I think the surprising part was how far the seawater actually reaches up the river. But when the tide goes out, the salt water and the fresh water actually mix, and that's where we can have some problems. And the cranberry itself is very sensitive to the amount of salt in the water, so they have to continually monitor the water which is being pumped into the dike system and automatically uh, shut it off if the salt level gets too high. Well, the climate change models are predicting that sea levels are going to rise. We've seen some that predict that the flows down the Fraser River will be less. Those two factors alone could be enough to really jeopardize what we do. Water system is all computer controlled to make sure the right amount of water is in the fields, to make sure it's the right salinity. And then there's a lot of control over the machinery here in the fields for harvesting the, the, the cranberries. We think we grow a really healthy, good crop. We look after the area very well. It's a generational business, so we take pride in the being stewards of the land. It makes you feel proud to be living in Delta and knowing that this is going on in your community.